Jaya Shivarajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is obsessing about stuff you can't control is a waste of your time and energy. Um, control is a very powerful force in your field. There are a few things that you can naturally control, which are um, your time frame, your thoughts and emotions, what's happening within you, within your field, uh, your personal space, your choices in life, your actions. You know, all that is your personality, your being, taking some form of action, doing something, having thoughts, writing something, freedom of thought, you know, all these things that have to do with your basic human rights, that have to do with you, have the right, having the right to control what's going on in uh, your, um, you know, in your life. And so, um, there is a, a, a a desire or an urge that very often arises which is to try to influence or control things which are beyond your control things that are happening on the other side of the world things that some government is doing things that some corporation is doing things that even your friends might be doing or your mother-in-law or somebody in your family your fa your father your brother uh, somebody who works in the same corporation as you somebody who is uh, launching a parallel business to yours you know for instance if I'm a coach and I see another coach doing something that I don't like or that I disagree with, there might be a desire or uh, uh, an urge to try to influence that person and tell them what to do, okay? So here is the thing, it is that the moment you are trying to control something that is not your right, you are not given the power to control those things, then you are going to, might, you might be wasting lots of time and energy and effort trying to influence something that is out of your control. If you are an activist, okay, if you want to, to, to stop whale hunting around the world, if you want to, to save Antarctica from drilling, you want to, to do things along that line, then it's a whole body of energy that you're creating, a whole non-governmental organization that you set up to be able to have an impact and influence the course of how you know businesses or corporations or governments are influencing or, or dealing with the planet but very often you don't have that body of energy very often it's you behind your laptop uh, freaking out over something that you cannot control and here is the thing when it comes to controlling other people's choices this is not a given right it's like everybody is born with the right for self-determination. So if I see, for instance, one of my friends having dietary choices that are really bad for, for them, you know, it's like he's eating bad stuff. And uh, I witness that, I can be like, hey, what are you doing? I don't want you to eat that. Stop eating that pizza, man. It's bad for you. So I can influence from a place of caring and love, but at a certain moment, I have to drop it. If I see the person engaging into that, pattern or action in a repeated way over and over again. What am I going to do about it? You see, the desire to control might actually create a friction. I am robbing that person from their basic human right for self-determination. So I might think that I'm doing the right thing by trying to control control what they are eating or what they are doing or the choice that they are making. But eventually what I'm doing is like I'm robbing them from the basic human right to choose for themselves and so you know the moment i realized that the moment i it suddenly hit me it's like your right your basic human right is to control what is yours not to control other people's lives <laughs> you can influence you can be here and and have an impact but 90 percent of your controlling power can be directed to what you can directly influence and yes you know, there are going to be situations where there is a transfer of power. For instance, if you are a parent and you give birth to a child until that, until that child is 19, 20, 21, depending on which country, you are somehow legally, socially, according to the laws of nature, responsible for the well-being and the care of that child or that being or that teenager. Okay, because there is an agreed transfer of power when you give birth to a child, this is what you agree to. The same if you are working for a corporation or you are the head of that corporation, because there is an agreed transfer of power within the structures in exchange of the money that you pay an employee, you are allowed to tell that employee or that 
team what to do, how to behave, when to go to work, and what time frame they should be there. So you have a contract, you have an agreement, and this creates a transfer of power. But when it comes to probably 90% of the things that drain your energy by trying to change them when you have absolutely no control. It's like it creates this worry pattern and this kind of criticism, ongoing, uh, you know, pattern in your brain and in your mind. You go like, why on earth am I putting so, energy, so much energy trying to change something that is out of my control? I could give you right now like 50 things right in my direct environment that I don't necessarily like but that are out of my control. The only way for me to be happy is to accept them and allow them. And if the forces out there want me to do something about it and they want me to change it, then I'm going to turn into an activist for those specific things and start taking action to have a positive impact. But the, the, the guideline and the force has to come from within, from something that you own, where you take a leadership position and you decide to go to battle to change something in the social structure of the, the places where you are, for instance, or in the way people are, are relating to nature or dealing with nature. But basically the idea is this, it is that for most people, um, you know, you might be worrying a lot about stuff that is completely out of, the, of your control. And this worrying and this desire to influence, this desire to control is actually draining and wasting a lot of your energy. If you were putting that energy into the things that you can actually influence, you will see that you will have a much higher impact. So if a friend comes to you for advice, for instance, you give them advice and then they do the exact opposite, drop it. It's very simple. Say, well, I told you what to do yesterday and now you're doing the exact opposite. You say, you gave me a suggestion. I never gave you the right to tell me what to do. Okay, it's an open feedback. This is the way it works. It's like the fact that you give advice to somebody doesn't, doesn't mean that you're taking over their lives. So if you understand this and you start navigating life from that place, from that perspective, everything becomes much simpler. Even if there are tons of things on this planet that you would do differently, the, 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 the agreed uh, transfer of power, the agreed, um, uh, your agreed human right when you are born on this planet is like you've got control over certain things and other things are out of your control. Other people are supposed to be controlling that. And... Um, of course, there is all the activism, there is all the political action, there is all that stuff where you can have a, a, an impact. And this is real as well. It's part of the social structure. It's part of your, your human rights to influence what's going on on the planet. But a lot of it is really out of your control. So having this you know, grip on something and realizing that it's slipping out of your hands, it's like a, a river streaming and you're trying to stop the water, you go like, you know what, better let the water stream and do whatever it's supposed to be doing, trust, and then here and there help nature a little bit or in the place where it's blocked and stacked. But basically, it's a, what I'm suggesting here is a place of accepting, allowing, you know, where I'm in Bali here, it's a lot part of the culture. People are very good at allowing. It's like they don't get bothered much by things, by certain things that usually in the West we get really bothered. There is some form of coolness, some, some ease in their flow that allows them to navigate certain things that would usually in, a, in the West would be massive triggers for the average person. So yeah, check it out for yourself. Is there something right now that you are trying to control that is in fact out of your control? Something that you are trying to force somebody in your field to do and um, that you haven't been given the right to control. And uh, to tell you the truth, even if somebody is messing up with their health, doing things that are going to make them really sick and you try to influence or you try to help them and, say, and they don't take action, then the only response is like, hands off. And, you know, there might be extreme situations where somebody's trying to kill themselves and then you might, you know, try to manipulate that person so that they don't do it or try to influence them, give them love or whatever. But the point is this, it is that we were born with the right for self-determination. And uh, this is a basic human right. It's part of the declaration of the human, human rights. So it's good to always keep that in mind. I love you.